Hello everybody, welcome to my next vlog and we're in a different location today. We're here at Foresight HQ in Guildford. This is where we do all of our testing of new product. Don't know if you've seen what this facility is like at uh, Foresight. So we've got GC Quad there. We've been using that for testing today. There's two bays, lovely comfy leather sofas. Uh, it's a nice refreshment area over here. You've got all sorts of beverages in there. I've been doing some testing today, but that's not what this vlog is about. This vlog is about the clubs that I finally settled for uh, to go in my bag for 2018. There is my bag of stuff. Obviously, you can see there's more than 14 clubs in there, a hell of a lot more. But I've finally whittled, whittled it down to what I'm going to play this year. And I'm going to let you know in a bit later on in this video, we're going to West Hill now to do a little bit of range testing and on course testing, which is how we do all our product testing. We like to give it a nice thorough hit in various different scenarios. And while we're there, I'm gonna take a break and take you through the clubs that are in my bag for 2018. Right, so we're just about to film the what's in the bag and I've got a confession to make. We have got some video help. We've got Harry along with us today who's going to be filming the talk through of the clubs in my bag for this year. Hopefully it doesn't impinge on the authenticity of this vlog, but I know a lot of you guys have noticed some sound issues with some of the vlogs. Obviously out on the course, the microphone does get a lot of wind interference. So hopefully the sound and quality of the video is going to be a bit better this time. There's Harry filming the clubs in my bag for this year. Say hello, Harry, or are you busy? There he is. Best bag tag ever. Right, so let me talk you through the clubs in my bag for 2018. As you can imagine, uh, there was a lot to pick from. I'm gonna to commit to it for at least, at least the first few months of the year. As we know, there might be some changes that happen when new stuff comes out, or I don't play very well and don't hit the ball very well in certain areas of the game, but this is what I'm gonna go with for now. So let's start with the driver. I've gone for the Callaway Rogue Sub-Zero model. What's interesting about this is that actually for testing purposes to get maximum distance out of it, I'll have the heavier weights, so the 14 gram weight in the front. But I found out on the course, actually when you don't catch it quite as you want to, the ball, especially if you're curving the ball, it really does fall out of the sky, it kind of dives left or right uh, and falls out of the sky a little bit because of that really low spin where you don't quite catch it out of the middle. So, for me, having that heavyweight back when I'm putting it in play on the course just gives me a bit more stability and more forgiveness on off-centre hits, so much more playable in that position. The reason I've picked this driver, I just think it feels really, really solid, really, really powerful. It's definitely better than Epic for me. I feel it looks better and feels better. I've got it in nine degrees in an Aldilla Rogue extra stiff shaft, and I carry it about 265 yards on average on the course in testing I normally hit it about 10 yards further but on the course that's about as far as I hit it. Right, fairway wood, this is the 2017 TaylorMade M1. Uh, I have tested the TaylorMade M3 fairway wood as you'll see from my recent on course testing vlog but for me I just prefer the look and performance of this. I feel like it's easier to line with the white section rather than the grey. I feel like it's got a flatter leading edge and the extra movable weight doesn't interest me because you can see I've got the weight right in the middle. So for me, it just ticks all the boxes and out of the middle, this feels so hot, so powerful. It's only a few yards short of my driver when I really catch it. And I think it's really versatile as well. I can hit uh, fades with it, draws with it, high, low. Really like uh, the performance that it gives. Get a bit of mud in the channel, which is a bit annoying in the winter, but other than that, I really like it. Just got the standard stiff shaft, the uh, Mitsubishi Rayon Kuru cage and stiff and I carry it on the course about 240, 245 yards. Really good option off the tee and into par fives. Next up is the hybrid. Hybrids I tend to struggle with, hit them left quite a lot, but uh, I've got the Titleist 818H2 here. And because you've got that adjustable cartridge, the weight there, which you can add fade buys to it, just straight as the ball flat out for me. And because it's the H2, the smaller version, I just like the kind of workability of it, the playability of it. I can hit it more like an iron which I tend to prefer to do, so really compress it, I take divots with it. It goes about 220. Um, I just love this, the, the overall package that it offers. It's really playable from different lies and pretty straight. I've actually got it in D4 setting, 
I was custom fit for this, so I'm not quite sure what that means. Some sort of change in the line angle in the loft, potentially. Uh, 19 degree head in an extra stiff Aldilla Tor uh, model. So, yeah. Irons. Now, I did use the I Ping i200 irons for a bit, but I've gone back to the Ping eye blades. Reason for that, I actually found like the long irons on the i200 were quite offset and I was missing them left a bit and the wider sole felt a bit clunky for me through the turf. I kind of like a narrow sole on my irons so I can really compress it and it feels a bit quicker through the turf. And these do feel a little bit better and because they're smaller they kind of concentrate my mind a little bit more and I actually felt like I hit these better than I did the i200. But these really concentrate my mind on hitting the sweet spot. They feel great. I've got it in Dynamic Gold X100 shaft. I've got those in four to pitching wedge, and then I've got my wedges in 50, 54, and 58 degrees. And they are the Titleist Vokey SM7s. You saw from a recent vlog that I got fitted for these uh, in November. Uh, received them, I think it was in January, potentially. I've got some nice stamping on these. I've got so JT on this 54. I've got Go Home on the lob wedge, which is a Happy Gilmore reference, if you remember that. And also kind of applicable to your lob wedge, you want to get the ball in the hole. And on the 50 degree, I've got 67 stamped on there, which is my best ever round. It's not there sh for showing off, it's there to remind me of when I was good at golf and also as a motivation for a score that I need to beat at some point in the near future. So I've got the 50 in the full sole grind, the F grind. Uh, the 54 I've got in the S grind, which gave me a much tighter dispersion, you'll remember on the vlog, than the M grind, which I had before in my SM6s on full shots. And then in the lob wedge, I've got the new D grind, which is a high bounce kind of M grind. So uses a lot of bunkers and it's fantastic out of bunkers. Uh, doesn't dig at all, really glides through the sand. And I've been in a few bunkers already, you can see it's quite dirty. And uh, I've hit some really good shots at the bunkers. So I'm really happy with those. Um, putter. Now, I've had this putter for as long as I can remember, to be honest. This is the Yes Golf Courtney. It just looks fantastic. It's a classic kind of answer style blade. I love how the kind of hosel blends into the head. There's not kind of a kink in the hosel area. It's just a nice soft curve in there. I love the Seaguru technology in the face. For me, it really does get the ball rolling nice and easily. To be fair, there is a chance this could be usurped for the new even roll ER 1.2 model uh, because I love the even roll face technology and they've brought out a blade with it on and I'm being sent that very soon but for the moment this is in the bag I've probably had this in the bag for at least seven eight years I've got a ping pistol PP62 grip obviously this doesn't come with it but I've tried a lot of different grips and for me this gives me it's the right size it's the right shape and I like the texture of it too it's a little bit tacky but not too tacky and a little bit soft so it just gives me the right feel of the club face and just fits my hands perfectly so yeah that's the my putter 34 inches long other things to talk about in my bag so i've got i use a laser i don't use a gps i use the bushnell tor v4 shift don't have much need for the slope adjusted switch on there but um love the clarity of the viewfinder the speed of it the simplicity of it and how light it is all those things it's just really easy to use and you know, it's a godsend really. When it runs out of battery, I really do feel lost out on the golf course. What else I've got? Balls, uh, I tend to just use kind of two different types. TP5s uh, or Pro-V ones, basically, I'll use either of those, not too fussy. Uh, they're both very good premium golf balls. I tend to go for the X version over the standard version if I can. So TP5X or Pro-V 1X, but to be fair, I'm not too fussy. I'll use either of those. Differences in performance uh, and field to a degree is very limited, so either of those really. I like switched on Z-Stars as well. Tend to play the Xs of those because for me, the Z-Star standard ones do feel a bit too soft and do spin like crazy around the greens. Uh, other thing to talk about is my ball marker. So this is a ball marker I've used for a number of years. It's a UAE dirham, which is worth about 20 pence, I believe. I used to live out in Dubai. It was my first job out of university. And this was the last coin that I brought back. So it's kind of got sentimental value to me. Uh, it reminds me of when I, you know, my younger days, when, it, when times were a bit simpler, shall we say. Uh, it was a great time out in Dubai, I loved every minute of it, the weather was fantastic, played some great golf courses, met some amazing people and this is kind of a, a reminder of that. So it's very dirty, as you can see, it needs a good clean, maybe a good polish, but uh, yeah, so that's what I mark my ball with. 
My golf bag itself is the, top, the new Titleist uh, 4, I don't remember this, Titleist 4 Players Stay Dry, I believe it is, which is really great in the winter, it's waterproof. Um, it's got a limited number of pockets, but uh, it's good when it rains and it looks great too. And it's not got a 14 way divider, which is always a thumbs up for me. It's just got a four way divider so the clubs don't get stuck going in and out. So, yeah, that's the clubs in my bag. Hope you enjoyed that. Hopefully, it's given you some insight into what clubs a person who could use anything they want to uses and the reasons that I've chosen it. So, there it is. Right, so I hope you enjoyed that. That's a look at the clubs in my bag for. 2018 god i've been out in the cold and look at my face very red but it's worth it because today is a stunning day here at west hill anyway thanks for watching um as always like the video uh subscribe if you haven't already and also i'm going to be giving away a dozen of the new titleist torsofts so if you're interested in winning these uh comment on the video and tell me what your favourite club in your bag is for 2018, what are you most excited about using this year, and uh, I'll pick a winner, and I'll be sending you a dozen of these torsoffs. So thanks for watching, as always guys, let us know what you think of the video, um, check in with you next week with my next vlog, but for now from West Hill, it's goodbye.